sir. How's it going? I'm good. How are you? Can right. I get your name and badge number? Hey there, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about a very important topic that affects every American. It's about our individual rights and how law enforcement officials should respect them. You see, as citizens of this great nation, we have certain legal rights that are protected by the Constitution. These rights include the right to refuse to provide identification to law enforcement officials in certain situations. But why is this important, you may ask? Well, let me give you an example. Recently, a man who was engaging in a constitutionally protected activity was stopped by law enforcement officers who demanded his identification. The man refused to provide his full name and date of birth, but was generous enough to give only his first name, even though he is not required to do so by law, as he has not committed any crime. The officers, however, argued that they had the authority to demand identification and were frustrated by the man's refusal to comply. The officer then informs the man that he is being detained and asks for his name and date of birth. The man again refuses to give his date of birth and tells the officer that he only has to give his first name. The officer disagrees and insists that he legally has to give his full name. This situation highlights the importance of knowing our rights when it comes to providing identification. Officer Hitzkin, my badge number is 5450. Thank you, sir. Hey, so it's my understanding that you've been told not to be inside the building. Correct? It is a public lobby. I am I gathering that. content for a story. There is a poster 7. It says I can record in there. Would you like to walk in and look at it with me? No, no, no. There's, there's no debate about that. That's not what I'm asking. Okay. You. I'm asking you, were you told by officers that you are not allowed officers, to be? Officers, no. It's my understanding that A guy named Larry. A guy named Larry. Mm -hmm. Who's Larry? Uh, I guess he's a postmaster. Okay. Which he is wrong, and I am here to buy a stamp on my purchase and record everything. I'm not... I'm not disputing that. Person, right. But I agree. It's my understanding that police have informed you that you no. are not allowed to be inside of this no. building. No. You are wrong. Okay. There was another auditor mm -hmm. that does what, 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 would I, what I do that told me he was detained from this location and trespassed. Okay. So, oh, so what's, what's your name? My name is Dustin. Dustin? Yep. Okay. Who is I you? will only give you my first name because of my rights. Um, uh, so well, actually, you do have to tell me who you are. So uh, I only got to give you my first name. And legally, I don't have to give you even that. Actually, you do, but okay. I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, I'm going to wait till my partner gets here so we can get this okay. all straight. Uh, I'm going to walk to the side of the building and just keep recording. Well, I want you to stay right here, okay? Am I being detained? You are being detained. Okay. Uh, what is your first name? Dustin. That's all I'm giving you. Okay, Dustin. What's your date of birth? I'm not giving you that. Okay. Well, we'll get we'll get to the bottom of it. That you will. So were you here the other day? I was not. You were not here. Nope. Okay. So what's what is the purpose of all this right now? Just you know, public just knowledge. Do do, for, just public knowledge. For fun. It's public knowledge. Okay. And can I get a supervisor as well? Yeah, we'll get one for you. Thank you. And this is car number 34 pulling up here at Forest Park uh, Post Office. Well, I'm going to go inside. Okay. His first name's Dustin. He won't give us any more information. I'm just going to see. Uh, well, is this the same guy that was here before? Pretty sure. No, I'm not. No. He's no. alleging he's not, so I don't. I know the other guy, so. and that's why I, ca uh, I came to Tread okay. Waters today. Okay. Uh, can I get your name and badge number? Officer Hoff. It's right here. Uh, badge 4660. What, what if I can't read? That's why when a citizen asks you, you should just tell well, you. You're filming me, so it's right there. I, I am filming you. Okay. Can I get a supervisor? Yes, sir. Supervisor for what? Sir? I I want a supervisor as well on scene. Absolutely. Thank you. So they also do passports here. No parking, fire lane. But yeah, they're on a call. We'll let this one slide. No, I know the gentleman you guys trespassed the other day. Okay. And that's why I came to tread waters today. Okay. Well, you just said you're treading water. Why? Because it's legal. It's legal. Okay. Well, it's not, a, it's not legal when you film things when people have their personal information. I have not even been in there yet. Well, I don't know that. That's what the other officers here to figure that's out, That's fine. Right? That's fine. And well, I can still... Were you here the other day with that other guy? I was not here. Okay. Um, well, with that said... With that said, let me finish. Okay. With that said, he was filming yeah. when people had their checkbook out and their credit cards. But out. that's still legal. So you, that's still legal. 
It is not. It is. They have the right management right to say that you're not allowed here. There is no expectation to privacy in public areas. Okay, at the post office, which is federally correct. Yes, public. Okay, public, but it's federal, but they have their laws and they have their rights. Yes. They have their rights to protect their customers. Yes. Well, that, that's their protection they should do. Uh, as long as Would I'm in like there. It if I came behind you and was filming your credit card number. It's your right. It's, no, it's not. It's your right you to film. You have expectation of privacy. You do not in public. Yes, you do. <laughs> so Hoff just said we, nobody has ex, uh, privacy you have in public. expectation of your own privacy with your you, own stuff. You don't. Yes, you do, sir. You don't. Well, so am I being detained still? that officer say stay right here he told me i was detained okay well you're not detained you're being stopped and furred. okay so i'm gonna walk to the yeah. side of the building no, and, and you know where i'm at he comes back okay and then we'll figure out then i'm detained going. if i'm not detained i'm free to walk you're detained right now because okay we're figuring out what's going on okay is that the supervisor right there i can't see, I can't see. no it's not That's okay i'm gonna walk over here and get the car information okay it's car 10 car 10 so we got three cabs here currently from Forest Park. I am being detained. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hi there, how, how's your day going? Hi, Officer Hagman. Officer Hagman, he said he's here just to stir the pot. Can I get your name and badge number? Uh, you can have my name, it's Officer Hagman. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Can I get your name and badge number? You can have my name, Officer Hagman. Badge number? Uh, you don't need it. Okay. So, my understanding is you're not allowed to film. Yeah, that's oh, true. I actually talked to Larry. He says I can. I told him I had business. I've got the printout yeah, from cannot. the post, Postmaster General that says you can't. Uh, and that's a lie. I can record. There's a Poster 7 in there that says lobbies and foyers and everything. No, because that's where they're conducting business. It doesn't matter. It doesn't no, matter. It does. There's no so explanation to privacy in public. It does. It yeah, doesn't. No, that's not true. But I am going to go in there and film. Probably, uh, well, okay. if you do go in there and film, then you probably will be arrested. I'm just giving you that. Well, then you might as well just stay here because I'm about to go do my transaction now and film it at the same time. Okay. Okay. Because Larry told me to go in there and do my transaction. Okay. I think we're talking about two different scenarios. Okay. If you want to film your own... I'm going to film the whole time while in the lobby. Okay. Slow down for a second. If you're going to film your own transaction and you're going to go in, you're going to do your business and you're going to leave... Okay. Well, I'm not going to leave right fun. away. I'm going to stay around and okay. do some more filming. But, but inside there, other people inside of there that are conducting business. It's legal. It isn't. It is. Okay. All right. Well, well there, there was a way to figure that out. Okay. In the United States, individual rights are highly valued and protected. One of these rights is the ability to refuse to provide identification to law enforcement officials. In recent years, this right has been a topic of much debate and confusion. As such, it is crucial for every American to understand their rights when it comes to providing identification. Individual rights are the cornerstone of American democracy. The Founding Fathers enshrined these rights in the Constitution and Bill of Rights, ensuring that every citizen has the freedom to live, work, and pursue their dreams without fear of persecution. These rights include the right to freedom of speech, religion, and assembly, as well as the right to bear arms and due process of law. One of the most fundamental rights is the right to privacy. This includes the right to keep personal information private, such as one's identity. Law enforcement officials are required to respect this right. And individuals have the right to refuse to provide identification unless they are legally required to. This video highlights the importance of knowing your rights when it comes to providing identification. Individuals have the right to refuse to provide identifying information to law enforcement officials, especially when they have not committed a crime or suspected to have committed or about to commit a crime. This is an important right that should not be taken lightly, as it can protect individuals from potential abuse of power by law enforcement officials. Of course, there are situations where providing identification is required by law, such as when we are pulled over while driving, but in situations where there is no clear legal requirement for providing identification, we have the right to refuse. It's important to note that this right is not just about being difficult or uncooperative with law enforcement officials. It's about protecting our individual rights and preventing potential abuse of power. And that's why we should all be aware of our rights and the limitations of law enforcement officials' power. So what can we do to protect our rights? First. 
We should always be respectful and cooperative with law enforcement officials, but at the same time, we should know our legal rights and not be afraid to assert them. We should also educate ourselves on our rights by reading up on the Constitution and the laws that protect them. In conclusion, knowing our rights when it comes to providing identification is crucial. It's a right that should be respected, and we should not be afraid to assert it when necessary. Refusal to provide identification is an important tool for protecting individual rights and preventing potential abuse of power. Let's all be aware of our rights and stand up for them. Thanks for watching. What do you think about the actions of the officers? Let me know in the comments. And be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos. Go over to his channel and appreciate him for standing up for our rights. Links in the description.